Okay, so I've worn and tested dozens of no-show socks over the years. And so in this video, I'm gonna break down the key properties that make up a great no-show sock. And the three things that you're gonna wanna look for in a no-show sock that doesn't slip off your heel. And then I'm gonna wrap things up with 11 great no-show socks, some of my favorites that I've worn over the past handful of summers. Let's get started. Let's start things off first with the key properties of a great no-show sock. First, the socks should be made out of a lightweight and breathable fabric. Second, there should be a very thin silicone gripper behind the heel. Third, it should be a simple design with a seamless toe and heel. Fourth, the sock should be comfortable as if you're wearing nothing at all. And five, should be made with high quality materials such as bamboo, merino wool, and even silver. All of these socks in this list have most if not all of these properties. And now the determining factors as to whether or not a no-show sock stays up is the fit, the fabric, and that silicone gripper behind the heel. One for fit, the sock has to actually fit you snug. Not too tight where it's restricting but it should fit well. Too big and it most definitely is going to slip. Two, the fabric. The sock should be thin and lightweight like a loafer liner. Thicker no-show socks are more prone to slipping down. And finally three, that silicone gripper. Look for a rubber gripper behind the heel that's really thin. The thinner the better. And if it's too thick, it's going to be more prone to slipping in my experience. You would think that the more lightweight socks wouldn't be all that durable, but they actually hold up quite well over dozens of wash and dry cycles. Let's get started with Falk. Believe it or not, this German-based company has been around for 125 years now and it is in its fourth generation as a family-run business. All about quality and heritage here. As for their no-show socks, they are quite thin and very low cut. Wearable with everything from sneakers down to loafers and bow shoes. They wear similar to a loafer liner as opposed to a sock but with much higher quality cotton. The low cut nature of these socks will keep it hidden with virtually all of your shoes. They actually offer a high cut, mid cut, and low cut options which not many other brands offer. It has a diamond hatch silicone rubber grip pattern that still stays up on my feet even after several years of wear. Ultimately, Falk is one of my highest recommended no-show socks in the market. Next up, we've got Chic. Chic is a New York-based brand that stands for stylish, hidden, essential, easy, and comfortable. Like Falk, Chic has the most variety of sock styles in a range of cuts from low-cut to mid-cut and high-cut socks which are ideal for all types of men's footwear. Their Active X line is ideal to wear with fabric lined sneakers and casual slip-ons, while the Secret 3.0 socks are designed to pair with leather lined dress shoes. And you can definitely tell the difference between these socks as the Active X is more of your typical cotton and the Secret socks are more like a spandexy type of material. So since I've been wearing Chic for the past several years, I am impressed that they're always iterating and improving upon the product year after year. They're always sending me their new versions of socks and I get to test them out every year. And so I've seen a handful of new styles and designs with various fabrics and the socks have only gotten better over time. I love that they offer a range of cuts. In addition, they have all of the essential colors to choose from. I particularly like that it comes in a tan color, which is essential in my opinion. All three of Chic's silicone grippers hang tight on your heel and prevents the socks from slipping down through everyday wear. Ultimately, Chic is definitely among my favorite no-shows, hands down. And third, we've got Features. Features is a US-based brand focused on performance wear. Features no-show socks are comfortable and lightweight with a performance type fabric. They fit well due to the three sizes that are offered. I opted for this medium, which covers shoe sizes 6 through 8.5 US. They have updated their no-show sock styles, which they've taken design cues from their running socks actually. As I mentioned earlier, features no-shows have this updated ultralight design that provides this a custom-like fit with a targeted compression zone down by the arch of the foot. And the updated socks also have an L and an R label on the front of the socks. And so you're gonna wanna put you know, the L on your left foot and the R on your right foot. In my experience, the socks do not slip. These socks are based around performance and so they hold up quite well if you're gonna go running or exercising, for example. 
And now we've got Boardroom Socks. Boardroom Socks is a small US based family owned business that is known for their high quality dress socks actually. And they spent over a year perfecting their now no-show socks, according to Nathan James, the company CEO. So Nathan actually asked me for feedback on a pair of merino wool prototype knits that he sent prior to their production run. And I was happy to provide my honest opinion since I've spent years testing and wearing a myriad of no-show socks. And so after a few months of back and forth, I finally received a finished product. And I'm happy to report that they knocked it out of the park on their first go-round. The boardroom socks and no-shows are some of the most comfortable and perhaps a lightweight breathable pair that I've worn. They clearly did their research and they are certainly made for those hot summer days. This isn't surprising considering their dress socks are some of my favorites in my rotation. Additionally, the no-show sock is made primarily with this soft merino wool, which is a fantastic warm weather fabric. They were going to go with a Pima cotton, but they did opt for the merino wool instead. These socks not only fit great, but they are quite comfortable as well, coming in two sizes of shoe sizes 7 to 9.5 and 10 to 12, and so there's a fit for most guys here. The no-slip silicone heel grip is extra thin, which is definitely key, and it's a minimal which aids in the comfort and a tendency to stay up all day long. Out of all the brands on this list, Boardroom is the most similar to Chic in terms of design style, comfort, and overall value. And I really like that they have that tan skin color which is perfect for a no-show sock. Furthermore, the socks have not slipped once since I started wearing them earlier this summer. And now Fitz. So Fitz sock is unique in that they are the only no-show sock that I've come across still to this day that doesn't have any type of silicone grip behind the heel. What's that you say? Well, the sock still manages to stay up all day long and is it magic? Well, no, it's, uh, it's actually due to this unique proprietary heel lock which helps to prevent slippage. I don't know what it is or how they designed it, but it actually does work. Unlike most other socks that are cut and sewn, Fitz Invisible Sock is fully knitted and it features a seamless one-piece construction and this slick design with the ribbing along the front of the sock comes in a wide range of colorways and cool patterns as well. Fitz is thin and lightweight and super comfortable just like the other socks previously mentioned and it's the only other sock in addition to boardroom socks which is made with merino wool. And so it's a perfect warm weather fabric. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, can you just do me a quick favor and lightly tap that like button? That engagement really does help the channel. Thanks as always, and now back to the video. And now a brand that everyone knows, Uniqlo. So we all know Uniqlo, it's the Japanese-based brand with stylish and affordable menswear essentials. And it's still one of my favorite places to shop in general. So just like their Supima cotton tees, their no-show socks are still the best value play in the game. These socks are about a mid-weight to lightweight fabric and they don't slip in my opinion and so they've got all the basics, solid colors of navy, white, gray. So the socks are very minimal, they fit well, and I believe they only have a single size which could be an issue for some guys. As you guys know there is definitely not one size fits all. But luckily for me, I'm in a range where the sock does actually fit me pretty well. And now on to Pair of Thieves. Pair of Thieves is based in Portland, Oregon, and their no-show socks have some of the best designs hands down. Subtly sneaky and some of their best no-shows. Pair of Thieves no-show socks are best for sneakers in my opinion, since the sock is thicker than the usual no-show socks a loafer liner. They're similar to Stance in that these no-shows have a three-band silicone gripper and they only offer one size, which isn't much of an issue in my case because the socks fit pretty well as size small and medium. And that middle weight fabric lends itself to being very comfortable. But there are better options to wear, such as the other lightweight, thinner fabric no-show socks for, you know, your loafers and bow shoes. These socks do a pretty good job of staying up all day long. They haven't slipped once when I've been wearing them with my sneakers, and so there's that. All right, now on to Stomper Joe. Stomper Joe, AKA Jay's Barely There. They're based in Chicago, Illinois, and they're still the only no-show sock that's primarily made of bamboo. And so they've got a different variety of sock thicknesses as well for 
different types of shoes and so they have a thicker no-shows which are more appropriate for sneakers and that's the sock in this roundup. They've got this little compression band near the arch of the foot which aids in the comfortability and thanks to the multiple sizes that they offer, the fit is on point. I just checked recently and this pair is actually not available at the moment on Amazon or I don't even think they have a website anymore as of this time. I'm not sure why that's the case, but on Amazon they do offer a thinner loafer liner type of sock, but hopefully over time they bring some of their other socks back in stock. It, it just might be because it's towards the end of summer and they've, you know, sold out. And the penultimate no-show sock is from Etiquette Clothiers and Etiquette Clothiers, they are pretty luxe and it's a given since, you know, their socks and underwear are all made in Italy. So Etiquette Clothiers no-show socks, they are ultra thin, rivaling Falk, Chic, and Boardroom socks and the other very thin socks in this roundup features as well. It's one of the few no-show socks where it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. On the heel, there's a wavy three-band silicone gripper and the only knock on it is that the fit, they only offer one size and although these socks do fit pretty well on my feet, they are a little bit big. And so if you have smaller size feet, eight and under might be an issue, which is surprising. Even after all of these years, they still only offer one size. And as we all know, there is no one size fits all. If your shoe size nine to 12, you should be good with these. And finally, we've got Zederna. Zederna is the wild card here. Not actually a sock, instead it's an insole slip-on. And so they specialize in natural foot care products made of cedar wood and cotton to keep your feet fresh and your shoes fresh as well. Again, I just included Zederna in this roundup because these shoe insoles are great. They offer an excellent no-show socks alternative. And even though they're not always necessary, I still slip them into my leather lined shoes. Actually, more often I slip them into my sneaker with, you know, typical sneaker fabric. And even if I'm wearing socks, it's just double protection. And so there are different options with the Zederna as well. They have the standard regular cedar shoe insole and then they have their silver care version which will actually last longer and provide stronger protection. These cedar insoles are great for hot days of summer. They actually do work. I've been wearing my silver cares all summer long actually and they are still going strong. I've got links to all the pieces featured in this video down in the description for your convenience. Thanks as always for watching. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. I put out videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style. Smash that like button and I will catch you on the next one.